thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. The Israeli Air Force has shot down a Hamas-launched drone, which was flying through the air near the Gaza coast. The Israeli military claims the drone was under the surveillance of the IAF from the moment it took off, but details of the size and design of the drone have not been released. The IDF says the drone was only in the air for a few minutes before it was shot down into the sea, and that it failed to enter Israeli territory. Hamas has not confirmed responsibility for launching the UAV, but the terror group has claimed that it possesses drone capabilities in the past. Drones are infrequently launched from the Gaza Strip into Israel, and the last similar incident took place in June of 2015. Four Republican senators are pushing to expand military aid to Israel, claiming the 10-year defense deal just signed between Obama and Netanyahu is not enough. Lindsey Graham, John McCain, Ted Cruz and Kelly Ayote want to overturn a provision of the deal, which prevents Israel from receiving any additional funds beyond the $38 billion granted over the course of the next 10 years. The Israeli Prime Minister has spent the past week defending the deal to Israeli critics, but it's not clear how Israel will handle an internal fight between Congress and the White House over the deal which has already been signed. The White House says that preventing Israel from seeking additional funds from Congress is a way of controlling federal spending, but the senators are now proposing a bill that would enable Israel to receive $1.5 billion in extra military aid. The Egyptian president deviated from his address to the UN General Assembly yesterday in a push to promote peace talks between Israel and the Palestinians. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi is asking Israelis and Palestinians alike to look at the example set by Egypt's relationship with Israel and use it as a real opportunity to move towards peace. Egypt was the first Arab country to make peace with Israel in 1979 after the signing of the Egypt-Israel Peace Treaty. And El Sisi is convinced the Israelis and Palestinians will also be able to live side by side in peace. The Egyptian leaders say the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is at the core of regional instability, which is why Egypt has stepped up to try to restart peace negotiations. It looks like the governor of Maryland is in Israel on a mission of his own, to promote Israeli trade with the northeastern American state. Governor Larry Hogan will be staying in Israel for a week where he will meet with Israeli business leaders, host a conference at Tel Aviv University and help high-tech entrepreneurs boost their work in Maryland. A delegation of about 25 business, academic and Jewish leaders from Maryland are accompanying the governor. And Hogan has already met with executives from the Israeli pharmaceutical and Zimotech which has relocated its U.S. headquarters to the University of Maryland Biopark. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.